Do you need to blog every day? That's the question now, isn't it? We've got the answer to that and much more in just a second. Again, everything is below the video. It's below the video. You have to tap that thing that says show more and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. When you start a blog, and this information's the same for a YouTube channel, there's this misinformation that you have to blog every day or you have to post a video every day. We can give you a few scenarios to help you make the decisions that will make your blog or YouTube channel or anything because many of them have the same foundation. Whether you're building a blog, you're building a YouTube channel, you're building a podcast, it's all about relevancy. These are some of the barometers that you need to look at if you want to blog every day or post every day. Number one, your niche. Your niche is everything. This also transcends to Kindle books. This transcends to podcasting, tra everything. Your niche is everything. And there are certain niches that will not make you a livable income. You can do it, you can have fun, but the niche itself doesn't have enough support to provide you enough people to read your blog, to consume your content. So the first thing is, what niche are you in? And I'm going to give you a few examples. Say you are a beauty vlogger. You can post as often as you want. There's makeup, there's dress, there's tutorials, there's hairstyles. There's all kinds of stuff that you could do that your audience will like. If you are talking about maybe politics in your blog, you're going to be posting every day or frequently because every day they're doing something. Now, let's say you are posting about television shows, The Walking Dead or something like that. When those shows come on and there's an episode, then you'll post. So it's really dependent upon your niche. It's dependent upon your topic. There is no one answer fits everything. Now, in the case of myself with this YouTube channel, I could post once a week and do well. I can post every day and do well. Why? Because this YouTube channel has several different topics. There are several people that come in this way, that come in this way. I'm focusing on online content, online content creation. So pretty much I'll just post maybe once or twice a week, which is plenty. Now, if you are a blogger or a person with a YouTube channel and you have a huge subscriber base, you posting daily is going to be totally different than someone who's brand new posting daily. The difference will be substantial because you already have a user base. Now, if you're brand new and you're blogging, vlogging, starting all this stuff, where do you start? Do you post every day or do you post once in every while? Number one, pick a schedule and stick to it. If you're going to post once a week, consistently post once a week. Number two, Make all of your early topics searchable and shareable. Anything that you post has to be SEO friendly. And there's a lot of people talking about SEO doesn't work. SEO isn't relevant. You, SEO is still a very real thing. Part of it, you know, SEO is search engine optimization. There's still people who don't know that term. It's very, very important because search engine optimization, which means when people go to Google, Bing, Yahoo, or whatever search engine they use, they put in a query. And if your blog post, YouTube channel topic, your Kindle book does not fit that query, they're not going to find you. It's that simple. So anything that you do initially has to be highly searchable, highly shareable, because you can write this wonderful blog post. It could be awesome. It could be the best blog post that you've ever written. It could be amazing. And you give it the title as Anna's Boots. Only people looking for Anna's Boots are going to find it. And it may take them a long time to find it before Google's spiders indexed it. And it could be amazing. Simply amazing. When you're working online, you have to understand how the internet works, how people find things. That's why Google is one of the most successful companies in the world, which is based upon how people find things, how people search, how people use the internet. 
It's very, very important. So anyone that tells you search engine optimization is dead is crazy. Anyone that tells you email marketing is dead is crazy. And these are people who are not utilizing the web to its full benefit. So there you have it. A few guidelines, a few foundational tips to help you put together your blog, put together your YouTube channel, because this is something that I've discovered in my own business. There are very many tenants that are transferable or relate to other things. The same information that you would use to build a good YouTube channel is the same information you use to build a good blog. Same information that you use to build a good blog is same information you would use to build a good podcast. However, there's always exceptions and there's what many people are doing is they're building their following by networking. They're not building their following organically. So the information that I'm giving you here is more from an organic, long-term, long-tail type situation versus ramping up very quickly. There are people who have YouTube channels that get the millions of views in a matter of months. There are people who have podcasts and blogs that do similar, similar numbers very quickly. But these folks are either paying a lot of money for paid traffic or they're doing some serious networking or they're plugged in. So if you are that blogger who just got started, you have no connections, your best option is to build a high quality blog with searchable and shareable content. All right. So once again, those are some tips. And if you find these tips helpful, go below the video. There's a quick write up about what I just said. And if you want some upper level help on how to build a blog that makes money, check out my course, The Paid Blogger. Currently, I have a special that's going on for December. Come in and you'll become a founder of Electric Kung Fu, which is my online content creation school. All right, this is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you in the next session. Once again, everything is below the video. It's below the video. You have to tap that thing that says show more and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about.